Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of the Purple Couch Diaries. That's right. We're back on the purple couch, my friends. Amy Jordan here. As you know, I'm on a mission to encourage and inspire everyone around the world to dance because you can, that any obstacle can become a victory and that any trauma can be transformed into triumph. And before we get into anything right now, I think it's a good moment in time to just take a breath. Ready? Let's breathe. Ah, let's do it again. I know that we talked last week about staying in our lane and really uh, managing and being wise about what information we're taking in right now as things get crazier and opinions get hotter and it's harder to tell fact from fiction. So I hope that was beneficial and continues to be beneficial. And you know, along that same grain, because sometimes things are worth repeating, you know, how can we really be kinder and effective in our daily lives? Because the crazier things seem to get, the more nervous we get, which is a normal human reaction. And as you know, or you might not know, our brains are wired for survival. So when we're getting all this craziness coming at us from the news or wherever, sources we get them from that may or may not be correct um you know our brains are wired to kind of go into like protective mode and panic mode and how can i react to this mode so it's a good time to just reset regroup take a breath and you know let's just really this week be nice to each other even if we disagree even if that person's on one side and you're on the other, at the end of the day, we're all human. We all want to be happy. We all want to be successful and, you know, all that kind of thing. So I had a whole other plan for this week, but as I know, I've been affected a little bit by everything swirling around in the world and it's very disheartening. I think we need to really never, and I say this in my movie, um, underestimate the power of our own lives, right? Because one person can really create amazing positive change, whether we think it or not. So how can we really embrace our best selves this week, be more patient on the road? Can we maybe be mindful about what we're posting? I know I say this all the time, but what we put on social media is a cause and will get an effect that ripples farther and wider than I think we can imagine so let's use it as a positive source and a positive force to create value and bring um, warmth and joy so that is my thought take it or leave it <laughs> let me know how you're doing if everything that's going on is getting to you please reach out and um, you know, let's just stay positively connected and breathe and try and be a little more patient and uh, focus on what we can control. So this is week two of staying in our own lane. What can we really keep rolling in our own little worlds to give our gifts and create value? So that's it. I'm off my soapbox. Go to amyjordanspeaks.com. Join our email list. Check us out on social because we do try and post really positive things. And have the best week ever. All right, you guys. We're sending much love and happiness. Love and happiness to you. And we'll catch you next week here on the Purple Couch Diaries. Bye for now and have some fun. Happy Labor Day.